Hey guys, it's Rob and Supergirl Season 2 Episode 3 titled Man of Steel was released, so let's talk about it. Real quick guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. It helps out big time and gets me closer to being able to bring you guys more content more often. Lots to go through in this episode of Supergirl, including the Lex Luthor style super suit, some Hawkgirl and Hawkman Easter eggs, and Agent of Liberty's descent into the villain he is today, which I thought was done really well. So in last week's episode of Supergirl, Supergirl was left poisoned by Kryptonite via a dispense device that made it so that Earth's atmosphere is laced with Kryptonite, leaving nowhere for Supergirl to be safe. But that's not the main focus of this episode, not even close. The main focus is Agent Liberty and his transition to defending aliens and even wanting to work with them to hating them with extreme passion. Now this show is called Supergirl, so the fact that they managed to make an interesting episode and show very little Supergirl is pretty outstanding. What I love most about this episode is that they didn't rush his backstory. There's a clear decline in his attitude towards aliens. It all started with that fight that he tried to break up as a human and got hurt only to be saved by another alien which was Supergirl. This scene was the first scene where you see hints of him getting closer to Agent Liberty. It's only when he loses his house and his dad loses his steel factory which was practically his whole life you start seeing him turn into Agent Liberty you see in the current day Supergirl. Now the reason why the factory closed was due to a much stronger metal being on the market. Now this is Nymph Metal. Nymph Metal is the metal that Thanagarin armor and weapons are made of which is of course home to heroes like Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Now this takes place on a different Earth than the Flash Earth, Flash's Earth, so Shahara Call and Carter Hall aren't going to be seen in this show, but we could very well we'll see versions of them from this Earth. Who knows, maybe we'll see Thanagarians be a more prominent role in the future of Supergirl. The moment he snapped was when his father died in the Steel Factory. Over the next month, according to Mercy, who later recruits him, he's been murdering, injuring, and mistreating aliens. One thing that I found interesting about this villain was the fact that he won't hurt humans. This could have easily been ruined if they didn't show how it affected him, but they did, and that was a great way to show a backstory for a villain. Now, my favorite part of the episode was when Lena brought the super suit for Supergirl to save her. The yellow sun lamps and the device that helps kryptonite poisoning wasn't going to cut it, so they brought this super suit for her that acts as a sort of stasis chamber. Now, this suit looks a lot like the Lex Luthor suit that Lex Luthor wore when he arrived back on Earth when he found out that Superman was dead and he wanted to be the new Superman for Metropolis. It's a new hero in the comics. What I could see them doing is sort of do the same thing. I don't think Supergirl is going to exactly die, but I think Lena will wear the suit and have superpowers from that suit, and I think she'll try to become a hero just like Supergirl. Overall, this episode was really good. I really enjoyed learning the backstory of Agent Liberty in the Easter eggs and nods towards the comic. If there was any negatives in this episode, it was the fact that I think they spent a little bit too much time on Agent Liberty. I think cutting maybe 5 or 10 minutes out from that would have uh, been better. This is a Supergirl episode after all and if you don't spend hardly any time on Supergirl the people who come here for Supergirl are not gonna like the episode. But that's just my opinion. Tell me your opinion down in the comment section below and for more Supergirl episode reviews subscribe to Rob and I'll see you guys in the next video.